Hola mundo! You may wonder where I am today. I'm in a very hidden village in Ticino. Hola mundo! We are Nina and Marcus, two Swiss adventurers who share with you all Switzerland has to offer. And from time to time we take you with us to explore this wonderful world. And this village is Melano. Around it, there are a lot of things you can do. And let's explore the area of Melano and the Valmara. Well, Melano is not directly on Lake Lugano. It's like a little bit in the back. Still, you can see the lake from here. But its main draw is there is a sanctuary. And there's also a fountain with some holy water. And I will visit this first. As you hear on my voice, it's uphill. So I'm going uphill, having a nice view over Lake Lugano. The hike up to the sanctuary is easy. It can be done with kids also. It's about, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes just uphill on a broad path so no issues i'm just sweating because it's midday it's shaded which is amazing but still we have 33 degrees today in ticino it's super humid so just by standing outside you're sweating <laughs> Unfortunately, the church today is closed. I'm on a work day in the middle of the day. I haven't seen any signs when it's open. I think you have good chances on a Sunday morning. But anyway, it's a very peaceful place here, very serene. And on the left side, when you come up of the church, there is the fountain with the holy water. And this water is said to have healed quite some people from different illnesses and nowadays this is good so I will fill my bottle of water healing is always good against whatever now I will go down back again to the village and then look for the way to the waterfalls because I really need a dip into the water. Cascata del Boto, 30 more minutes. The first 10 minutes of the hike from the car park of Milano up was brutal. It was just tarmac, beautiful houses, but I was walking up the tarmac, 10 minutes of pure sweat. Okay, but now it's shady, it's in the forest, so let's do the next 30 minutes. It's a very beautiful hike in the forest, nice and fresh, going uphill, but not too much. And I'm alone. There's no one around here. That is amazing. You just hear the birds chirping, a lot of lizards. <laughs> I nearly made it. And I'm not alone anymore. There's a family. So I was a bit worried. Like walking in the forest, I'm never worried alone. But uh, there are supposed to be wild pigs here. So I hoped they would be 
too hot and just lying around somewhere hidden and will not visit me. So, but here I am, have a look. Check out the water temperature. Pretty chilly. Oh, it's cool. Beautiful Cascata del Boto. Isn't that amazing? So if you come to Ticino, you have to go to this waterfall. It's really amazing. It's completely for free. You can either drive up a little bit in the Valmara and from there take a turn to have a short walk to the waterfall or you park in Milano, which is the easy way to find and you just follow the hiking trail for 40 minutes. It's a nice hiking up there. I did that one. Um, the one people with children, they would prefer driving up the Valmara a bit and then just follow Google Maps. So easy to find. Why the mozzies are coming. I'm sorry, that's Ticino in summer. You have mozzies everywhere. I'm back in the car and I drove in the Valmara and there I stopped at Rovio to get a nice cool drink, a lemon soda, which I really like, and enjoy the amazing views. Behind me, up on the top, is Monte Generoso, and down there is where the waterfall was, where it just went. Talking about Monte Generoso, of course, this is a nice thing you can do around Lake Lugano. It's a beautiful mountain, there's lots of hiking if you're up there. I personally prefer to come to the Val di Mucha or Valmara. These are the two valleys around Monte Generoso because they are really hidden. They have amazing hiking. This is the real Ticino and Monte Generoso for me is too touristic. You will probably not find so many locals up there. Um, it's a train going up the mountain. It's very high, you have beautiful views, undeniably, but it's not so my taste. But if you're here, check it out and you will know for yourself. Really funny. 
that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one from Ticino. Oh, 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 oh,